Hi everybody, it's Graham Bradshaw from IMI, a naturopath now for 35 years. So in our naturopathic practice, we do find that people who have viral infections respond to high doses of vitamin C. Um, and oftentimes what we use in clinic for that will be um, a C-complete powder. Uh, this one's been derived, a lot of the vitamin C has been de derived from natural products. Uh, and it, that includes things like acerola berry, amala fruit, Kamu Kamu, uh, even goji berry. And um, it also includes the, what we call the bioflavonoids, and there's some of them mentioned here. Particularly quercetin is good with viruses to help us get over them. So oftentimes when we're treating somebody with a chronic virus, such as uh, say Epstein-Barr virus, we'll be using high doses of this several times a day. The problem with vitamin C is it flushes out of the system quite quickly, which is why many of the studies that have used vitamin C for protection from cold don't really show much much benefit. Um, really the only certain thing that vitamin C does, a certain group of people that vitamin C does help, is those who are stressed. And so studies where the participants have been enduring a high level of stress do find that vitamin C prevents their viruses or prevents their upper respiratory tract infections. But uh, sort of your regular vitamin C taken once a day, it doesn't give you 24 hours benefit. And so you um, fortunately only have, like, if you're taking ascorbic acid, usually you find that it's all flushed out of the body after four or five hours. Um, and that's why studies usually show that there's not a very protective effect of vitamin C. You can, of course, make up for the short-term dosing by um, taking more often. But most people don't like to do that. I thought in this, um, I'd mention a type of vitamin C called ecstasy. This one also has the bioflavonoids, which extend the life of vitamin C. But essentially, ECTC is a slightly different form of vitamin C. It's uh, kind of like a metabolized form of vitamin C. It lasts longer in the cells. Actually, it lasts for full 24 hours in the white blood cells, which is its key feature. So it's a once a day form of vitamin C that uh, is much more effective for protection. Um, it raises the, the uh, white blood cell activity over the 24 hours as well. So if you're looking for protection from a vitamin C, get the S to C as the best form. Uh, if you're looking to treat active viral infections, such as um, having an upper respiratory tract infection, you can use the powder um, several times through the day to get the, the full benefits. Two different ways to use vitamin C, high dose for an active infection, and that will reduce the days uh, where you're infected. The biggest benefit for vitamin C during a cold is that it usually stops the, uh, the, the virus at about the fourth day. So that, you know, what, what, about half people get to about the fourth day of an upper respiratory tract infection and it becomes a bacterial infection. And so the beauty of vitamin C is it, it tends to stop it there. So you go through the viruses, um, then you don't go on to the bacterial infection. That's really worthwhile so you don't end up on an antibiotic and feel sick for weeks. All right, that's really the benefit with vitamin C. It helps to shorten the uh, uh, viruses uh, of any type in your system. Okay, well, thanks very much, and uh, I look forward to seeing you here at IMI. And uh, come by the dispensary if you're needing any advice on vitamin C and other supplements for immunity. Thank you.